So your crazy ex is accessing your email and you've changed your password and now you're absolutely safe, right? No, just changing your password doesn't protect you from your ex or anybody else for that matter. So I'm going to show you who has access to your account and what you need to do to lock them out like a pro. Okay, let's do this. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. All right, so let's start with email as this is required in order to pretty much access anything these days. This is especially true if you use your Gmail as a way to sign into various services. So firstly, let me show you a quick way to see if anyone has actually accessed your account. Why this is not super obvious, I'm not really sure, but it is kind of hidden. So, well, here we go. If you open up Gmail, bottom right hand side, click on details. And there we go. It's all the information you need. Take a screenshot of this and you can see who accessed your account and from which IP address. Remember that web browsers have the ability to save passwords and the same passwords are then synchronized from your desktop to your phone to your tablet. This is great, but what happens if you used your account and you logged onto your access device? That means any password changes you make will automatically just arrive on their device. So what we do is we quickly click on the profile pic. At the bottom, you'll see sign out of from all accounts. There's no point in changing the password if you're just gonna get the new one anyway, right? Right, next up, let's go change the Gmail password ASAP. And this is where pretty much people go wrong. Now, remember the time where your now crazy ex wasn't? You did that cute couple things where you shared your Netflix passwords and Spotify password, which was oh so cute back then. Not so cute anymore, right? So your ex knows your account password, but more importantly, they know your password formula. In other words, if your current password is something like Mary Smith 2020, don't make your new password something like Mary Smith 2021. Also, don't use any of your old password or anything obvious like your dog's name or house number. Remember that your ex has a lot of personal information that you've been so careful not to share online, but they know this stuff. What you should do is use a passphrase, something like, I just sub to the techie guy. This is nice and long and easy to type in. If you've been smart and you've used a password manager, it is critical that you go and update the master password. If you don't and your ex has that password, well, they could simply log into your password manager and simply see all your new passwords. Let's change the Google password by going to myaccount.google.com, click on security on the left-hand side, and then you'll see an option there called password. Click on that and then simply enter your current password and then enter the new one. Next up, scroll down to the section that says recent security activity. This is everything that actually has access into your account. Click on that list and go through it. See something that you're not familiar with, click on it and then click on the option called no secure my account. Now, this is not just about the crazy X. This is important to do every once in a while because when you log into certain websites, services or apps, sometimes they need access to your entire Google account for no particular reason. So here's where we can go and make sure that they don't have that. So on this particular test account, it's found it's got a whole bunch of security issues. So I can click on take action and simply go through the list. For example, 15 compromised passwords. I can click on that, go to the passwords checkup. I can see I'm logged into two devices. I can click on them and then just remove my access from those devices. Right, next up, let's go to two-step verification. Super important for you to have this enabled. If you don't have it, please go through it and make sure that's enabled. I use a strong authentication method, which is the security key. Now, if you don't wanna do that, then you can just enable the Authenticator app. Do not enable the text message option. It's too easy to clone. Authenticator app is much, much better. Now, you got something called backup code. So in case you can't log in, it generates a 10 one-time usage of these random codes. Go into that and click on get new codes. So in case your ex does have a download of it, well, they're not gonna be able to log in. Finally, go down right to the bottom and go to devices you trust. I would revoke them all. Once you've revoked them all, the next time you genuinely log in with your devices, you can tell the system to trust those devices only. Uh, right at the bottom, you have third-party apps with account access. Again, go through that list 
see who's got access to what. If something that you see that you don't recognize, click on it and simply click on remove access. Remember always, again, if you does need access, next time you log in, it will say, hey, I have lost access, and then you simply give it again. Now, that covers Gmail. And of course, if you use something like Outlook.com or another service provider, or even your works email, change that password. Make sure you have two-step authentication and log off out of all previous devices. The same rules apply for things like your banking and your investment apps and PayPal, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Now, if these services have the ability to notify you when a new login att is attempted, enable that option. Yes, you're gonna get a bunch of new emails, but at least when that happens, they typically would capture that person's IP address. Now, smart home devices are often overlooked. If you have a smart camera or a smart doorbell, make sure you log out of those apps and change the password and again, enable two-step authentication. You don't want your ex logging into your camera just to see if you're home. And speaking of knowing where you are, if you're using any services such as Apple Find My Friends that allows you to share your location with a friend, check those friends list. Make sure nobody has snuck their name into your friends. And again, they could keep tab on you. On a scale of one to 10, how worried are you about your online security? Let me know in the comments. Also get a VPN and make sure that nobody has loaded anything on your phone that can track you or even watch you. You can check out those videos over here. And if you are new here, hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.